finals. And um, yeah, I am so sorry to do this, you guys. But uh, we have the, uh, the full British cast. Oh, we Lord. Oh, dear. It is, uh, it is Odie Pixel and Pigeon. Back away successfully. It's, it's just pretty much impossible for Secret to find these kills with these moves. Oh, well, maybe on mid one. Edge. Hero, doing a lot of damage here. Mid one, getting super low, but no mana for the Spirit Lines. Now they turn around with the kill. The Avalanche, the Decrepify, oh, now a blast. Can he do it though? He's gonna, he's gonna die off. He gets the kill. And finally, six oh, and a half minutes. I mean, other than that, they don't really have the initiation to do anything about the way the Secret's playing. And there's the initiation in return. They catch on the life steal. They're jumping right there. He's melting so quickly. Can't even get the rage off the sides, but nice save from GH. Can it keep him alive? I'm not sure. He can try to turn around. Not enough damage though. Now they need to move quite quickly. GH, oh, GH. so squishy. He's got double kill for mid one. And he, he'll Go for the TP out. He oh, won't make no. a triple kill for Tiny. And yeah. wow, <laughs> the squishy elements. Um, so just to show how much a problem the Tiny is, it's, it's pre nine minutes in mid. He's got the money for the Blink Dagger if he wants to pick it straight up. This oh. is going to be an incredibly fast Blink Dagger pickup from the Tiny. And with this he's TD, GD. he's looking for kills down bottom. GH, if he gets across in time, GH like, please don't do this. Oh, but they're going to split up. Mind control has been left behind. There's four heroes here. Seeker with the older aggression. They're going to find the kill onto this Beastmaster. And just. Slowly torturing him by letting him live for a few seconds as long as they tease. But Liquid. GH. Oh no, GH. You're so squishy with this. He needs to move away with the Teva. But they're waiting there for you to lift. And he's gone. They're just crumbling. Mind control hanging around a little too long there. We already saw Puppy leave the bottom lane. And now Puppy, Puppy. He's decided to come back over. Well, you know, he's like, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die on my cause. He uses the shrine. He's starting up, but he's slow. They get the Tether on top of him. The axes fly out. Puppy's still really tanky. No, they can't stop the balls from smashing into Puppy's face. And now, Yaps, or they're not done just yet. They haven't got the primal rule, so this would be a slow, inevitable death if it did happen. No, mid one is here. He's got the oh. Shadow Blade already. And now you need to run because Ace is also here, GH. Gonna shred through him in the meantime. Mid one says, Mind Control, give me those dollars back. I just gave the gold across to you. Now I want to return. But Mind Control's still alive. GH almost dying up. Finally gonna kill the Mind Control. But GH is gonna be the boy who lived. I don't think he's Ace is getting so close, but he's taking a lot of damage. He's gonna go for it. Oh, that's yes, or out of nowhere, a Rubik strikes. Oh, that's, that's the wrong one. Guro's just like, what up? It's our gank time. They're going for mid one. He's got the Shadow Blade in five seconds. I should have detection. There's a Primer Roar coming out. Now they need to shred from the Decrepify save. Turn around. GH, you're the target. You want to get out, but you can't. Mid one hitting too hard. Mind control. You now need to run. But what have you got? You've got no escape. Your Outru is already dead, and so are you. How's that? How you just the, these sort of drafts from, from Liquid there, I think they went a little too far. Having both a PL oh, and a live feed is always going to be hard. But look, the eye is just gone dead. again. No, there's the club. He needs to hit this double kill for mid one. Can he get another triple? Too, a little oh. bit too tanky. Has to back away. This and Puppy will barely live. Mid one, he really wants to go for the combo on Sakura. He can maybe kill him. There should be enough damage. He needs to tap right He's now. Hit him so far the away. There it is. He it's gets enough. the kill. Doesn't even need the tree. But meanwhile, on the tower, looks like Fallon. A little bit of trouble. He will die off. And now Puppy, he wants to stand his ground. DD on him. Mind control a lot of damage will die, but they're chasing off for more. They oh, want it no. all. Matu next on the hit list. That IO that we said went back so early. He might be in trouble too. Is he fine? No, he went back to base in the end. He TP'd out because it looked like he was being pressured by Ace as well. Mind control, he doesn't have a clue that's coming, but he will find out right now. There's the slows coming out from the void. Puppy just trying to slow him down. Mid one gets across. Avalanche to jump in by Yapsor. They'll get the kill. And mid one out of control. And I think the, this is so important because they go, they go for it in the end. So they were scouting, but we just said, Liquid, you're so reliant it's on the so card. so hard to do this if you're Liquid. You need the most favorable bounces, and look at this secret. They were in his coming. They move straight on to Kuro. Kuro dodges it. He needs to be careful. Up straight in, mid one. Oh, he's going to find GH. Oh, there's a toss back to interrupt it. He couldn't move away quick enough, and now Liquid, full retreat. You need to get out. Heen, oh. he's almost dead. If they get one more touch, Ace is chasing. There it is. The hits run through, and now Matu will make his escape, but... Speaking of Megan Bank, Ace trying to catch up GH. He's going for the relocate. He does. Okay. But guys, um, I think he's hoping he can go for the Alan's TP line. play. Come on, go he for can't. the TP play. He can't. Puppy's waiting for him. Oh. I mean, if you time it to the to the server tick, you know. If, Maybe. If, <laughs> if, if GH was a good player. Uh, <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm I love you, GH. Man, to, uh, that thing to that, get inside a bird. Yeah, exactly. Or any of these. Like, oh, speaking of people, they want to get inside. They want to rip apart Kuroki here. Doppelganger's not going to oh. save him, though. He gets caught out, and he gets dragged back as well. Mid one says, blood, blood.
blood. Give me more blood. Matu the chase. Another tower. Your rage is about to run out, but the primal will go now to fight out. Look oh, at the it. E on this. Oh, it saves his life. And now, Matu, he's like, fight me, mid. One minute one's fine. I'll take out your support first because I know he's keeping you alive. GH can super low. They're going to finish him off. They do check down. And now, Matu, you're alone in your own base and you just can't fight them. Ace trying to finish with the kill. Won't chase, though. They decide we're getting a little bit low on HP. Let's back away right now. Oh. Now they're actually coming on that bomb. <sighs> but the man died still. Yeah. Oh. He died. Oh no, he. Oh, no, you're gonna lose everyone, Heen. Oh, he he has the rage. The death oh, the death one. Nice yours, and now mid one says yes. more kills. GG. Oh, they've had it. <laughs> oh, I mean, what a game. I mean, it wasn't long, but it felt painful to watch at some points. Get the life dealer on someone and be able to control the fight. And Tide is that kind of guy. He can front line for you. Oh. Oh, wowzers. That's super interesting. I think the cool thing this time around is they've got more self-sustained heroes. The Tide Hunter, the Lifesteal, is very hard to gank on their own. They don't really need a GH to babysit them here, which might work in their favor. And although, look at Disruptor, the cast bounced beautifully. And he, well, that is a quick first blood. With the Anchor Smash, you've got a way to sort of push the way back out. It's less likely that Midpoint gets a seven minute tier one tower. Uh, yeah, it did cost them dearly. And oh no, GH, top lane. Goodbye. To look to fight back against Secret, but for the time being, GH just has to be so careful with his position. Puppy and Yaps will get on top of the IO. That fight's going to be very hard for Liquid to take. Oh, and Ace, he's going to walk into Heen. The cast bounces again. Maledict is there as well. Heen, he has no way out of this. Can he stay alive? Nope. The final click should be there slowly but surely. And meanwhile, Matu will run away as well. Maledict not doing much damage, but. They're slowing down Ace's farm a bit. You know, as we can see, Kuro at the moment, he's the one getting the most farm. Actually going aggressive on Safada here. Oh, look at that. They're going to jump straight in the Maledicts. Can they get enough damage follow-up? I don't think they can. DH is keeping him alive for so long. Now, Ace moving in. There's going to be a stun onto him in a second. He needs to move fast. Does get the kill on the GH. And now, going to turn around onto this Urza. Ace still too tanky there. And Matu not hitting hard enough. I mean, Ace is just running the Oh, down. he's going for more Heen. He's slow slowed. And there's the cast bounce just to finish it off. Ace trying to run away quick enough. Can't quite. The final hits will be there. Now they might chase onto Puppy. It is nighttime. Makes it a little bit more challenging. But Matu, he wants this. Problem is, without vision, you're definitely not going to get it. Still only level three at the moment. And I mean... Getting some points that void is not quite nice, but obviously getting nighttime quickly is beautiful. And GH! He's got the tether. He'll, He'll get be away. fine. Matu might try and turn on this. I don't think he can though. There's gonna be a move from behind. Yaps or the cast bouncing beautifully again. And the maledict. DH trying to stay alive. Can't do it in the end. And now Ace oh. says Matu, let's get this man a death on the trouble. board. Matu trying to get away, but he's gonna suffer. It's slow, it's painful, but it's assured. Ace, I mean, the they're, <laughs> they're just diving this top tower. This top lane. Blood. It's an Ursa lane. You want everything you can get, and Yapsal will oh, yeah. just about escape. The majority of the engagements up top there, they do add the favorable farm. The, the fact that both men have been a bit of a wash, but up top net worth at the moment. Puppy. I was about to get a glimpse back onto Puppy. Yep, the stun's there, and the Rocket Rush not actually going favorably, mostly hitting up the creeps, and now they need to get out GH, making a long escape, but he walks straight into the rest of the side of the secret, and will slowly die. They're trying to chase him for more. Can I get Matu too fast? Oh, fast but Heen, you're not fast enough. You are going back to the fountain. Express delivery from secret. Keeping vision around the pit. Mid lane. Oh, mind no, control. The ravage. ravage. Yaps or trying to run away the kinetic field on him, but mind control getting so low here. Will he die? Can he stay alive? He's gonna tick out, and so is he in as well. Once again, secret trading favorably. Absolutely. That was a, a ravage blown, and what did you get? You get a support kill. Hey, Absort. It's going to be more than easy. They maybe want to go in. Or, I feel like they can just turn on I Liquid here. You don't want to dive this if you're Liquid. No, it's dangerous because you, you haven't forced out the Enrage. Now, Ace, he'll go straight in. There's the mother. He used the Enrage now, and now he's just going to shred through Matu. But GH, so much heal to keep him alive. He's throwing everything he can. Puppy taking a lot of damage from turn. Needs to run off quickly. We'll call it a draw then. They get away with it. They, they sustain for GH enough to, to sort of allow Matuma Man to do so. But he's come back in. I mean, Yap and Puppy, they're going to look to they're run this down. And he's, he's the cast. Or could they pass this again. And GH, he he's has in no trouble mana. now as well. He's got no man. He's got no way out of this. They're going to chase through. They're going to find him. The right clicks are slowly secure on the inevitable as Yapsel gets himself a double Mistake. kill. Mistake. Like, as soon as the Maldit goes on, 
you but, can't stay around. I mean, well, with GH there, you've got sort of the sustain to counteract. That's so. true, but the Ursa's scary as well, hell. And now, Fada, they move in, they use the Ravage, mind control. Can he stay alive? He's the last dude. He's like, fine, you want to fight? But by in time, because mid one comes in the back, cuts off Heen. Fada stays alive, Groki. You need to run quickly, because you're about to lose all the help you had. The death ward goes down. It's going to be free dead on the side of Liquid. Oh, and no. now, Matu, run. Run fast. They might actually go for the toss in with Puppy there. There it is. Get Alley across in. there. GH, your next on the scoreboard to end up shaded out as, as another dead on the side of Liquid. And, oh, a Roche. They've got Disruptor nearby. He needs to move further back. They might actually try and fight this by the looks of it. The position is there. Magic okay. comes back and says, let's do this. Yaps all. Actually, no mid one. It comes in there. There's the use of the Avalanche. GH, the car's bouncing beautifully again. Mad 2, he's next on the hit list. Throw the tree. Walk away. I don't care. You're already dead. And, well, once again, I, it's liquid. They thought they could take some, but I feel like you just need Static Storm before you can even try and reinitiate. Like At least at attempt to fight back now. There's the items I'm talking about. Yeah. Testo's on Kuro. This is where you go and try and make a play. Has to be in your right, because they are smoked up as five. Liquid moving towards the river right now. Best happen. Got that blink at the ready, and this oh. is a perfect kill they can find it. But mid one, look at this straight away nose. They do have Get to take it down with dust. the dust. Now, can he turn around and do anything though? He's trying to stand a fight. The Maldit comes out, there's a decent amount of damage, but you've got no follow up. They have to back away quickly on the side of Secret. That was a perfect pick for Liquid. They didn't have to expend the Ravage, and this is what I'm talking about. You just get in, you set up Kuro to close the gap with the Armored Desolator. You can take down the big targets of Secret. Well. Looks like the best secret will do. They'll just try and slip a bit. No, oh. there's a jump in. Alasu coming through on a Kuroki. If they can find this kill, it's going to be a good one. But there's a relocate again. They get him out. Matu going to run off quickly. Dean, he still has a static storm. There's a the cooldown, but now Ace jumping straight in the aid. And Rage already used. What? And the pause? What is this? No, oh, disconnect. But I mean, he already got the Enrage off. This is not looking good. Liquid, they they got to run away from the big old bear. They they have got the Ravage. Where's Kuro? Is he really in a position to, to help out? He's yeah, still hanging on the low ground. He's barely alive yeah. at this point. He has got Jay. I'm sure the re relocate's going to come back towards the mid lane. It will take them close to Yapso on the back lines. Maybe we'll see Liquid just try and play on and go for that. But for the most part, disengaging as much as they can is going to be the big one. He in a mind control. They might have to do a defensive Ravage here. Because I don't know if Mind Control can move away quickly. He's got the blink, so if, if they don't... If quickly, he's going to blink. No, they don't even focus on him. They're like, Mind Control, that's not a problem. I see. Kuro's going to come in from the back. He's going to see if he can find him. He goes for the rage. Ace. The this is not the right move. The Death Ward coming out as well. They're going to lose one. Now they're going to lose GH as well. In the meantime, Mind Control, you're all alone. Ravage actually gets expended. Just thinking the Ursa kill. He'll feel it's worth it, but he will give his life for this as he dies off as well. The Maledict to ensure that he'll never regen enough. And that's a team wipe for an Ursa. But when you're 15k behind, you, you sort of have to, to start looking towards the, the impossible. And uh, especially the tw 24 minutes. Still very early. Kuro. Oh, they're looking to make it more than a 15k lead as they jump around to Kuro. It's a big kill. They get him 16k now. And GH, can they find him as well? No, they're actually TPing back because oh. it looks like they found Ace again. But Mind Control blinks away just in time. Okay. But Matthew. I mean, they're killing Ace. Yeah, they've got the PKB on Matthew, so he should be safe. But you don't want to have to. Now they look they'll look to two more tiles. I mean they've got the Aegis, they've got the cheese now. This is you know, again, this is it. Well they gave the Aegis to Tiny and oh look at that, the jumping. Can they get the come puppy? Meanwhile, the backline being cut by mid one and now the ravage too late to actually stay the disruptor. They can chase straight in. Can they get the come mid one? He's still got the Aegis even if you get him down. The death ward. Yabsa says, I need to increase that KDA. He's gonna get another one. As they lose three already on the side of liquid. Now you need to run quickly, Matu. This is a big BKB, but it's already ran out farther. Holding him up. Mind control. Blinks away just in time. The PKB by Father now. The toss for as well. Yapso. He says, throw me deep. Let's find more double kill for Ace. And mid one finishes it off as they kill the whole team. GG gets called. And Secret oh. dominant throughout that game. I mean, obviously, it's always worth mentioning. This is a situation where Liquid, they're not there for us. They are playing with Kochi. And he didn't get to play AA. So, you know, there, there was sort of the, 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 the tough times there for Liquid. But I